Hi everyone, my name is Kathy. On Facebook, I have a weight loss fan page. It is Kathy's Weight Loss Journey. It is K-A-T-H-I, in case you want to follow it. Today I wanted to talk about food addiction. Food addiction to me is not something simple as just liking to eat or overeating every now and then. Food addiction is really like being addicted to drugs where you really just think about food all the time as you would drugs. It is something that I think about all the time, every day. I think about breakfast when it's dinner. I think about dinner when it's lunch. Food is just something that is always on my mind. And even if I'm not hungry, I always try and get myself to not eat. Now, food addiction, to me, it really should be on the same level as other eating disorders like bulimia and anorexia. The thing is, is that they're really not, and I don't understand why they're not, because if you have an eating disorder, they all should be equal. They all should be the same regardless of which side of the eating that it is. Now, you have people who they starve themselves or they throw up after they eat, and you're looked upon with such sympathy and such compassion, but when you have a food addiction to where you really have to battle yourself every day to not eat, you're, you don't really get the support that you would if you were on the other ends of the eating disorder, and I just do not understand. I really think that People with eating disorders are really just misunderstood to be just fat people who just like to eat, but it's not. It really is not. That's the same as somebody who just is on a diet calling them, you know, anorexia, anorexic, because it's really not. It's not the same. Me, I think about food all of the time. It is such a battle for me to not eat because if I let myself eat every time I wanted to eat, I would never quit eating. Food addiction is extreme. It's a battle with yourself. It's a constant battle with yourself every day to not eat. The same as people with anorexia or bulimia, they really try to, they don't want to eat because it's a mental illness and it really is. I'm not saying that it's not. What I'm saying is if you have an eating disorder, regardless if you eat too little or you eat too much, it needs to be equal. You need to have the same compassion, the same sympathy, the same you know, people understanding what you're going through versus just judging me because I'm I'm fat. Now, if you have an eating disorder and you're skinny, then you are understood. But if you're fat, then then you're not. And I understand that when you have an eating disorder and you don't eat, you can starve yourself to death. I get that. But you can also die from being overweight. They really need to be equal. Now, to me, I look at it as a drug because food, I need to get a fix. Even if I'm not hungry, even if I am full, I just want to eat, especially if it tastes really good. What I do is I really try to keep that stuff out of my house because if I have it in my house, I will eat it regardless, even if I tell myself not to. So if I have a bag of cookies, they will be gone. I will find my way. I will go in there three, four times a day until they're gone. And if you see me at the grocery store, I am sitting there. I look like a crazy person because what I do is I'll pick something up. I'll put it down. I'll pick it up and then I'll put it back down again. And I'm fighting with myself and I'm looking like I'm crazy. And then I'll pick up something else. And then I'll say, well, this is better. Well, this cookie is better than this cookie. Well, there's still a cookie. And then I will constantly do that. And it is such a battle sometimes just in the grocery store to just not buy something. And I really do. Yesterday I went to the store and I really had people looking at me like I was just, I was a hot mess. I was crazy. I was picking everything up, putting it back down. And it's just, I had to finally walk away. Now, I really think that it's just really misunderstood. Food addiction is a constant battle 24-7 with yourself. The same as somebody who doesn't eat or somebody who throws up after to eat. It's your mind. It really is. It is not something as simple as put the food down. Now, if I told somebody who was bulimic or anorexia to just eat, not throw up, just eat, how stupid would I look? But you want to sit there and tell somebody who has a food addiction to just, just put the food down and don't eat. Why is it not the same? I don't understand why you can't tell somebody to just eat, but you can tell somebody who has a food addiction that they just need to quit eating. Like it just magically goes away because I didn't think of that myself. If I just told myself, well, just, just don't eat. It's really that simple? No. It is a constant battle within yourself every day, all day. Regardless of how much weight I lose, it is always going to be there. A lot of people misunderstand. They always think that, well, if I lose the weight, the food addiction goes away. No. Unfortunately, it's not. I wish it really did. 
It does not. Regardless if I get to be, you know, 600 pounds or if I get to be 100 pounds, I'm always going to struggle with the food addiction. The same as somebody who, even if they're in recovery for bulimia or anorexia, is always going to be on their mind. It's always a mental game with yourself. It's a battle. It's a war within yourself that people don't understand. And again, you have people with the other eating disorders where it is understood. It is a medical condition. But if you are overweight and you have a food addiction, no, you, you get none of that. And I, I don't understand. I always refer to it being like heroin. If you have addiction to heroin, you just quit. Well, you can't just quit eating, unfortunately. You, you can't. You have to eat to live. So that's like giving somebody who's addicted to heroin, you just get a little bit of heroin just three times a day, but just a little bit because you don't want to get too much because then you'll be addicted to it. It's really hard to battle a demon within yourself if you have to constantly face it every single day. So regardless if I don't eat or regardless if I overeat, it needs to be equal. People need to understand. People not need to be just mean. They are cruel. They don't understand. And it just really needs to be brought to the forefront that, you know, an eating disorder can be being skinny and not eating or being heavy and having a food addiction. Now again, it is not something as simple as just being fat and liking the taste of food because there can be anybody who, when they have a love of food, that's that's not the same thing. A food addiction really just is like a drug. It is like an addiction. And people need to understand that there is a difference. It needs to be, you know, brought to the forefront. There needs to be people who actually educate other people on it. There needs to be the support system that they have. And unfortunately, they just really do not. So before you judge somebody, before you sit there and tell them, oh, you're fat, you just need to quit putting the, and just put the food down. You really need to just not be so mean. I mean, I have to battle with myself. You don't know what demons I face. I don't know what demons you face. And I'm not going to sit here and judge anybody because it is not my place because I don't know what you battle with every day. So a food addiction needs to be the same as any other eating disorder out there, regardless if I eat too much or eat too little. Or just people just need to be educated and understand.